Biden secretly allows Ukraine to strike Russian territory with U.S. weapons. U.S. President Joe Biden has covertly approved Ukraine to strike the territory of the Russian Federation using American armaments, but only at the borders of Kharkiv Oblast, Politico said. The president recently directed his team to ensure that Ukraine is able to use U.S. weapons for counter-fire purposes in Kharkiv so Ukraine can hit back at Russian forces hitting them or preparing to hit them. A source told Politico that U.S. doctrine on long-range strikes within Russia had not altered. Politico sources cited the deteriorating conditions for Ukraine on the battlefield, namely Russia's advance and improved positions in Kharkiv Oblast, as the reason for Biden's decision. Politico writes Ukraine can now utilize American weapons to take down missiles aimed at Kharkiv, strike clusters of personnel direct from the Russian side of the border near Kharkiv, and target Russian bombers dropping bombs into Ukrainian territory. A US official stated that Ukraine cannot use these weapons to strike civilian infrastructure or launch long-range missiles at military targets deep within Russia. In early May, a senior US military official told lawmakers that easing restrictions on Ukraine's use of US weapons inside Russia would have military value according to two meeting participants. One person familiar with discussions between Washington and Kiev said a final decision on easing the ban is very close now, hinting that the Biden administration would give Ukraine the green light fairly soon. U.S. officials more seriously considered changing policy soon after Russia launched an attack on Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkov, the two U.S. officials said. Military officials had been discussing the merits of a change in policy even before the Kharkov campaign began on May the 10th. At a closed briefing by members of the House Armed Services Committee on May the 7th, lawmakers from both sides of the aisle pressed senior Defense Department officials to ease U.S. restrictions on Kiev's use of American weapons to strike Russia. Earlier, the New York Times reported that President Joe Biden was approaching a change in position to authorize Ukraine to strike Russian territory with American weaponry. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg asked that the Allies review the constraints on Ukraine's ban on using Western weaponry against the Russian Federation in the midst of border fighting in Kharkiv Oblast. Some European countries have already indicated open support for this strategy. On 29 to 30 May at night, drones of the security service of Ukraine struck a Russian radar system Nebo SVU worth 100 million US dollars in temporarily occupied Crimea. Reportedly, a Russian radar detection system was struck by the drones developed by the security service of Ukraine military counterintelligence. This complex controlled a 380 kilometers area of the combat zone near the settlement of Armyansk protecting Russian facilities in Crimea. After the drone attacks, the space reconnaissance equipment detected no radiation from the radars, and it did not re-emerge. This complex controlled a 380 km area of the combat zone near the settlement of Armyansk, protecting Russian facilities in Crimea. After the drone attacks, the space reconnaissance equipment detected no radiation from the radars, and it did not re-emerge. These systems do not provide the image fidelity required for targeting a stealth fighter, 
but by networking them with Russia's Gamma S1 array broadcasting in the S and X bands, the Nebo system offers an effective means of tracking and eventually even targeting stealth fighters. It is designed for airspace control, detection, and identification of coordinates, as well as air target tracking, including strategic and tactical aircraft and stealth targets. Nebo SVU recognizes classes of targets and can determine their state affiliation. It operates both as part of automated air defense control systems and independently. The radar has a short deployment time of up to 30 minutes and is served by four people. It is stated that it has high patency and can be deployed in unprepared positions.